Um, and like I said, there's just something where you kind of can just know if somebody is legitimate, you know? Um, it's a feeling that you get. It's, it's just a sense that you get, you know? That video never grows old, does it? So today I have a few small things for you. And again, we're going to talk about Thomas Don, the gift that keeps on giving. So what I'm trying to keep telling people is that if, if Thomas Don posts something on Facebook and says, hey, who's going to be at my show tonight? Then you post and you say, I'll be there. It's really likely you're going to get a reading. I've seen this happen a bunch of times. So why is it that you're likely to get a reading? Well, because you've just put your Facebook page right in his lap, right? It's not that hard. So here's a woman. I have blurred out her information, but it is still here, her post. And I, I don't know, I, it's public, so I really don't have to blur this all out, but I did. If you guys want to go look and find it, you can go and look and find it. It's not hard. It's right there on Thomas John's Facebook page. It was five days ago. See you Saturday, Charlotte, North Carolina. So I guess he didn't say who's going to be at my show, but nevertheless, this woman over here, she says, I can't wait. In other words, I'll be at your show on Saturday in North Carolina. She can't wait. So then after, after the event's over, she says, it was great. My dad, my husband's dad, my brother-in-law and nephew came through last night. So her dad. And then her husband's dad and her husband's brother and the nephew from wherever else came through. So normally what I do is I reach out to the person and say, hey, so did you realize now that some time has passed, I'm sure you've already figured out, well, that this was uh, Thomas Thomas just reading your Facebook page, but I decided not to. I had no reason, but I just decided not to just blurred everything out and this happens so often that i i didn't feel like the need to do it i just want to use it as an example to show you guys how common this is oh so are you interested in knowing if her information was on her facebook page well it was only slightly on her facebook page and, and that's why i'm using this as an example for a video is that i want to show you where the actual information was it took a second or two longer because it wasn't on her facebook page and one of my team members one of my eagle-eyed team members had uh, found this and here is where the information actually was located it was located on her husband's facebook page remember it was her father-in-law and her husband's brother that came through and her husband tim had posted and there's a picture over here i'm not going to show it to you because it doesn't mean anything to you either but there was a photo that was included with this post of his dad and this is very common they post on veterans day uh anniversaries mother's day father's day um, birthdays anniversary so in the search engine where you're you're looking for something here, I'll show you it just, and you can go down this list. <clears throat> I've blurred out their names. Again, it's a public post, but you know, I've blurred them out anyway. You can go down this list and you can see happy father's to day to you and grandpa, which would mean that if I had clicked on this person's page right here, this, this link that's given to me, then I would have found out that that this is a son, uh, you know, a nephew. So his grandfather had died. So it would have given me more information if I'd gone to his Facebook page and um, and so on. Great picture of your father. It, you just go through these posts and it depends on how much time you want to have. And you have information. You can usually get stories about how they used to hunt and fish together or how they went on vacation together or, you know, just some memories that people have of their family members. And then you just recant it, just kind of alter it enough so it doesn't sound like you're verbally like reading off the Facebook page. And 
Shazam, you've got a personalized story that no way anybody could possibly know. Gosh, I hear that all the time. So as I was saying on Facebook, what happens is I have a cat coming here. Shh, quiet. Don't tell anybody. I don't want, don't startle her. <laughs> so what happens is what happens is that on Facebook, and go check this out for yourself, right on Facebook, there's a little um, area up in the upper right-hand corner underneath your um, the cover photo, and you can click on it, it says search, and well, you click on it, and then a little drop-down menu comes up, and it says search, and I think it says block, and some other things. Well, if you go to that search thing, I should probably show you one, but I don't I guess I could show it to you. No, I don't want to show it to you right now. It's right there on the upper right-hand corner of your um, Facebook page. You click on it and it says search. And then in the search bar, you can type in whatever you want. You can type in anniversary, father, mother. So you get Mother's Day, Father's Day, veteran, um, anniversary, wedding. You know, you you could type in sister, brother, uh best friend or whatever you want to type in that little box. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull up anytime those, that word is referenced anywhere on your Facebook, even in the comment section. So it's very fast to find information about, you know, something that might be relevant to repeat back to you. If my method, my favorite method is to go to photos. And if I had shown you the photo of this man who was put up on his, you know, his father. So the the woman's uh, father-in-law it's a black and white photo and when you're looking at the photos not the photo of the person I'm talking about Facebook still but photos that they have uploaded you just click on that little button that's on the uh, left hand side on Facebook and you see photos and, and you go photos mobile uploads or something like that and then you click on that and a whole series of photos will come up. If you just glance through it really quickly and look for anything black and white, sepia, or something that looks like it could be from the, you know, the 70s, the 60s, 70s, 80s, you know, it has that kind of look to it. You click on those and most likely those are memories. If you're getting black and white and sepia, you're probably going to enter into somebody's family, you know, like a anniversary. It was their wedding, your family's wedding picture or something like that. And it's very fast. And when those are put up on somebody's Facebook page, then relatives usually do come in and, and post comments underneath saying how much they, you know, they miss Uncle Bob or, um, you know, uh, Francis, you know, made the best pies in the world or whatever. So you can quickly find out who all the relatives are, nieces, nephews, cousins, grandchildren, um, and other family members, and then click on their Facebook page. So that's what I really wanted to show you how fast and easy this is, as well as sometimes you don't get right into the Facebook page of the person who is going to see the psychic. Um, but it, if you just move one, one uh, Facebook page to the side, either way, you can find um, probably the information that you're looking for. So just give up on the idea that there's any privacy that we have. It doesn't matter how locked down your Facebook page is if your family members and friends and so on are not completely locked down. So I don't, I don't even bother talking about privacy. Before I go, I wanted to show you this, another, another thing that one of my eagle eyed people found, and this was Thomas John was doing a live a Facebook live before, um, um, and, and while he was doing the Facebook live before, you know, how you click on, I'm going to go live on Facebook, he was doing something on screen and it was recorded. And then he put down I, what he was doing. And then he went on with this Facebook live, but there's a few seconds in there. If you're not careful, um, people can see what's going on in your screen. So here's, oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> what do you think I'm going to see? <laughs> leave it in the comments what it is leave it in the comments of the video which you think i'm going to pull up here on the screen before i show it to you i'm very curious what you guys come up with 
well, this is the eagle eyed thing. And um, there's a triangle on the, there's a white triangle on the, on the image I'm about to show you because it means it's a video, you know, and we didn't take that off because I want to show it to you what it looks like. Here it is. Here's what Thomas Dom is doing right before he um, started his video. In fact, it was upside down. So all we did was make a screenshot and was is it was either upside down or it was flipped. I mean, you know, it's not that hard to flip or move an image, inside, you know, reverse image or rotate it. It was really easy. So <laughs> this is what he was mailing a letter to somebody. Here's his sister's address in um, Massachusetts, I think, M.A. Or is that Michigan? M.A., yeah, I think it's Massachusetts. Sister's address. We've had it for a long time, so it's not like it's a surprise to me, but that's where he's getting his mail and so on. So it looks like he's mailing out a letter, probably a refund to somebody. Um, you know, if he's okay with showing that kind of stuff and giving everybody who he's corresponding with or mailing a check to, possibly. I haven't looked at the video yet to see if there's more, if you can see the person's address or not would be kind of maybe humorous if I sent them an, a, a letter to the same address saying that Thomas John just revealed your address to his audience and to his critics. Anyway, that's what I'm talking about. There is no real privacy because there's always some hoo-ha out there who's going to to uh, blow it for you. So you might as well just assume that it, you know, you can't live in a box. You can't live um, in a, a fortress you got to go out of fortress someday and like i said somebody's always going to reveal something that you might not want to know it's just it's there just be cautious guys be very cautious there are people out there who want your um are willing to do go a little bit farther to 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 uh win you over to get uh some power over you either money or to gain influence because of your likes or your um, attention. I know. So I know I keep talking about Thomas John. Like I said, he makes it so easy. I just can't handle not. He, when you're a hot reader, it's so much easier to um, to catch a column out as opposed to somebody who's cold reading. And he does so many videos and he's, it's just so easy. And then people keep sending me stuff because, I, because I've done so much content on Thomas John, people are constantly contacting me and telling me stuff and showing me stuff. So um, yeah, I apologize if this is like getting to be annoying. Um, trust me. I know um, I'm going to be moving on to a lot of other things. I have a lot of other irons in the fire. I'm really interested in psychic detectives. I keep talking about that as well. I mean, they say they're solving the crime and then yet you see years later that the crime has been solved using police methods or informants or something else. And what the person told you wasn't what, uh, what the person told the family is not what actually came up. It didn't really help in any way. So I'm, I find that really awful and horrible, but to me, it is um, a good way of understanding the methods of mediumship and, and that area of mediumship which is Psychic Detectives. So as always, um, you can email me, uh, Susan Gerbeck at gmail.com. You can message me on Facebook. Um, I'm happy to be in contact with you. If you leave me comments, I am I will do my best to answer the comments, even though somebody just told me today, don't bother answering them. There are a lot of them are trolls. Yeah, I know they're trolls, but I don't know. Sometimes I will, I will answer and it's just just my way. I tend to be that kind of person. Very, very. Um, somebody leaves me a comment. I'm most likely if I uh, to answer you. So you can send me your videos. You can send me your readings. Um, I'm very interested in the. Well, if you're gonna send me a video, I want a video of a reading. Um, I'm really interested in the audio that uh, people have from readings that they have had done in the past. I'm interested in interviewing people. So if you're somebody who's been uh, been dying to tell your story, let's 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 tell the story. I'm I'm fascinated by the whole psychology of mediumship. So please like, please share, please leave me comments, and um, I'll catch you in the next video.